everybody it is about maybe half past seven quarter to eight Thursday night it is very hot it is very hot I thought I wasn't going to do a video but I thought I would come on and just say a few things um I was on YouTube and the video for my swap mate came up and I watched it I it was a good video I mean it was good um I, as I said, I gave, I sent her some Vegemite with, um, Aussies love Vegemite. Vegemite is an Aussie food. It's, she thought they were vitamins. It is good. It's got vitamin B in it. So, in, it's a spread, um, which you can spread on anything. You can spread it on bread, on sayos, any kind of, those sayos are biscuits and you can have them with anything. You can spread butter on them. Um, I hope you're watching this, Angela, so you can take in. I did comment on your video, but I thought that I would come on and do this. Um, and the jelly is not actually a jelly. It's not a drink. It's actually a, 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 a dessert, a sweet you can have. Read the instructions on the packet and you add... You put it in a bowl and you add a cup of hot water. Then you stir it until the jelly crystals dissolve. Then you add a cup of cold water. And when that cools down, cools down more, you actually put it in the fridge and let it set. You can have it with ice cream and peaches, fruit, anything. It is beautiful. Um, what else? The fruit tingles, which are those lifesaver things. Girl... I did have a packet here. I was going to show what I put in. What did I do with them? Garfield? I did have a... I know I had them here. Then I had to get up because the light went out. I don't know what's going on with this light. And I've lost the fruit tingles. I have lost the fruit tingles. Hang on back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I found it. I've got little Garfield with me. Um, and this is what I saw. One of the things I sent it was, yes, they are lifesavers. It says that. But the main thing is they are fruit tingles. They're completely different to what lifesavers are. We also have lifesavers. But these fruit tingles, I think they changed the make of packet or something. I've been eating these since I was a kid. They are... They're a fizzy, as I said, they're, they tingle and there's different fruit flavours and they are yummy. I remember we in kids, we used to go through them and we would look for, there's one that actually got, it's got different colours. We'll go through, up, throw through them and try and find one with different colours. I don't know why. And so we've had these as kids and I still buy them. Um... There's different colours, there's green, there's yellow, there's red, but there's one where there's actually, as I said, multicolour. And that's what they look like. The little thing, they are they're fizzy, they tingle, they're a tingle. So if you don't like tingle, one person and one Angela's kid said they were sour, they may have been. Mm. They tingle in your mouth and they're absolutely beautiful. Next colour is yellow. Fruit tingles. I buy them. Buy them, chuck them in the cupboard. When I want something sweet, I'll have my fruit tingles. I'm um, what else are going to have them? Angela, I loved your video. I really did. Um, I love putting it together. I... Uh, I can tell you that it has been a long time since I actually wrapped anything for anyone. Oh, besides my ex. She doesn't count. But still, um, I wasn't going to wrap everything, but I thought I en so enjoyed wrapping it up, you know. Um, and I missed it. And as I said, I thoroughly enjoyed wrapping up. 
Um, the one thing I was surprised about is where you said you had to um, keep yours to a limit of four pounds. What does that involve? Is that because of a price or what? And about the contents, I seen you put in line and everything. I thought, what's going on here? Because um, when I put mine in, they had to say what was in it. I just said it was baby clothes and Aussie food. That's all I said. And the guy behind the counter thought, Vegemite? I said, yes, Vegemite. Vegemite is, is an Aussie staple in our cupboards. Um, I, I have never known anyone, I've never known anyone who does not like Vegemite, an Aussie who does not like Vegemite. There are other people in America who they like their Vegemite. Try it. Um, Vegemite and cheese is nice. Um, Vegemite and jam. Our, but our jam is what you call jelly. So Vegemite and jam. Sorry, not Vegemite and jam. Swipe that. It's not Vegemite and jam. No. I'm talking about cheese and jam. But Vegemite and cheese is nice. Vegemite cheese and lettuce is nice. Um, I know mum used to put, I think she used to put Vegemite in our, mum used to make gravy. But if the kids have a bit at a time, um, it does take and use to get rid of and do not eat a lot at one time. You don't thread it on thick because that is when it really, it does taste yuck. It's the worst thing. Pe people who don't know, veg never grew up with Vegemite, that's one thing they do wrong is they take a blob of it and try it and they think of, actually seen one person on another video on another channel they actually had, I think, I think it was a spoon, got a spoon full out and tasted that. Yes, if I did that, my eyes would water also. So Vegemite is not something you pile on. You put the thin spread, it's nice. Um, with the sayos, they are a biscuit, an Aussie biscuit. Um, as I said, you can spread the Vegemite on that. Um, yeah, and so you can put anything on sayos. You can put jam, jam is good on it. You put cheese, any kind of spread, anything on there, tomatoes, ham, whatever you like on those biscuits. Yes, they're nice by themselves, but they're a lot nicer when you put something on them. You can just spread them with butter. They're okay like that. It's just different. Just um, eating them by themselves does not... I like them by... But I don't have them now because they're gluten. They've got gluten in it and I've got to cut down on gluten. I've got to cut out more things than things I've been eating. I notice have been affecting me. Not in my tummy wise, but in my head. Um, I was a bad girl yesterday. I bought a bag of lollies and and not long after I ate them, I got very tired. I mean tired. And I realised probably other things I've been eating. Um, I don't know what else I've been eating that could have done it. I don't know, but... Just really tired today. Um, like I didn't need to go out anywhere, so I'll go out tomorrow. But I've got to cut back on my lollies. Um, like my fruit tingles, I have them occasionally. They're in the cupboard and they didn't stay there. I have them occasionally. They haven't. Um, I'm glad you love the key rings. Because um, I said I was going to send you some baby clothes and for your babies. And also some food and also something for you. So the key rings are for you. Um, the books, I brought them because um, I like them. You know, I know when I buy things for someone, I try and figure what I would like. Um, oh no, we, we, I don't know. What else, would, what else did I send? The and the gaieties. Oh, they are the best biscuits, the best chocolate biscuits Australia has. But you'll hear different from other people. Um, I know Stephanie had a gift opening from an Aussie. And they actually sent her Tim Tams. Don't like Tim Tams. I know a lot of people like Tim Tams. But it's only our special people that like gaieties. I've only met one other person who likes them. So that makes them very special people who like them. I know when I went to buy the biscuits at Woolies to add to the parcel, 
I was at the shop. I was looking for the go-tos. I could not find them. All I could see was Tim Tams. That's all I could see. All these different brands of Tim Tams. So I don't, I don't like Tim. I could not find the go-tos. Finally, I found them. If I couldn't find them at Woolies, I would have went to probably IGA to find them. But I will not buy Tim Tams. I tried them once and thought, no. Nah. And I said, there's another person I have met who does not like Tim Tams. She preferred gaieties. It's nice. So I'm thinking of putting a little thing together for Stephanie. And I'm going to include a packet of gaieties so she can try. So she can compare the Tim Tams to the gaieties. Um, the gaieties uh, have a wafer in them. Completely different to Tim Tams, but they are a lot nicer. Mm. I'm still eating my fruit tingles. These are nice. And that they tingle. Tell mm. me. And I said, I've got Garfield with him. Me. I've got to find him some clothes because all he's got on is what he came in. His little cute top and his napping. And because he's got a tail, I had to fix it. I cut a hole in his nappy so his tail could poke out. <laughs> I can't find any. I looked in Big W for some dog clothes for him or cat clothes for him. Couldn't find anything. I went into the reject shop. Couldn't find any. I did get him a collar. A yellow collar. With the bells on it. He's so cute. Um, so I've looked online, um, looked on eBay, and I found that because of his size, he has to get a extra, 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 extra small. That's three X's small because of his size. I think that, yeah. So, and by looks, I've got to get it from China, which means I've got to pay GST. Now, when we buy things from overseas we've got to add, they add GST onto them because Australia would pay GST on almost everything and it's a goods and services tax they brought it years ago 10% on top of our food, some most of our stuff it's got this it's called GST they actually had um, GST on top of sanitary napkins for women you know females your pads and your tampons and all them they actually had GST on that but there were many things they didn't have GST on they think that tampons and pads and that are luxury a luxury item but finally they have listened to everybody and finally they have taken the tax off these sanitary items and there's no more GST on them that's okay I don't wear them anyway it's been ages well it's I can't remember the last time I had a period. I had my hysterectomy 10 years ago, just over 10 years ago, 10 years and one month ago. And now, I never used I never used tampons. Actually, I did use tampons because when I was having my surgery after my hyster, I had to put some cream in, cream on, on the tip of it to help. And I had to insert that, leave that in there for a while. The first time I ever used tampons. I tell you, I'm glad I'm past that. I tell you, one thing about getting old is no periods. Although mine were just about having the hysterectomy help, but no periods. Another thing is less hair growth on your legs and underarms, but you get more on your chin. Mm, but that goes, excuse me, that's a twit. Tw tw what did I say? Tree tingles. Free tingles are from my childhood, and every time I open them, and especially when I see that coloured one, it takes me back to childhood, and we'll go through our quick few tingles to find it if we've got that coloured one. I don't know why. <laughs> we always did. Um, what else did I put in the packet? I, as I said, bookmarks. Um, actually, when I brought the, I had it brought, one had a cactus on the front, and it's, I think it said, I'm stuck on you. And when I brought it, I didn't think she see um, Angela is from Arizona and I didn't it didn't connect that it was the cat they had cactuses there it did not connect until she said it in her video um, so Amanda I said, oh, why do I call you Amanda 
I remember when I sent the first email to you, I said, um, I called you Amanda, but it's Angela. Um, as you notice, I did reply on your, your video, so I hope you are watching this to get hints on what to do with the food I gave you. And maybe I should have sent two lots of Tim Tams because they are yummy. I don't buy them because they're not gluten-free, but I can remember what they look yeah, taste like. What else I sent? Your clothes. I'm glad you love the clothes. I hope they fit Adam. Let me know if, if they fit him. Um... What else, what else did I send her? I sent the biscuits, um, Tim Tams, fruit and must sticks. In that plastic bag, they're, the pink ones are must sticks. And the other ones, the yellow and the green and that, they're called fruit sticks. Come on. You don't like fruit sticks? Oh, must sticks. They're another thing from my childhood. We used to get them probably maybe 50 50 a cent each or two for, I don't know, we used to get them as kids. They're, they're another Aussie food. I know, but I sent you a good, the good brand. Another channel had a swap with, got a swap from an Aussie. And the girl sent them a cheap version of the fruit sticks. And he didn't like them. And I told him why he didn't like them. Of course, they were the cheap version. You know, a cheap version. I don't, when, when it comes to some food, I do not, buy the cheap stuff because they don't taste as good or are as good as the full brand like Vegemite there are other things beside Vegemite there's Promite and Marmite I think one of those is from Eng is English but Vegemite is Aussie and Angela keep trying it don't spread it too thick on the sayos I miss sayos I wonder if that'll affect me if I buy some because they are really nice. As I said, do not eat them by themselves. I said that I said that earlier in the video. Spread them with Vegemite. Um, what else is going on? Um, there are some. One thing I don't like about YouTube when you go into your event settings and you've got to put it hasn't been shown in America or the language. It does not have English Australia. It, does, it has English England, it has English America, English Ireland, but it does not have English Australia. I'm pissed off about that. That is not right. Don't they think Australians put videos on your channel? We do. There's a lot of Australians here that got videos on YouTube. We need Australia up there. So YouTube, if you are listening, you're watching this video, please put English Australia. When I put that in, I just put English. I just leave it. That's it. It's English. What else? Um, and also, um, other channels, if you're watching, if you do giveaways and that, could you please put in, if, if it's um, worldwide or if it's just to your, your country, and if it's worldwide, um, is that, does that include postage or you want the winner to, to accept pay postage? Because sometimes I'm on channels and they've got competitions, go on giveaways, and I think, I'm in Australia. Will they actually post it to Australia? Would I have to pay postage or who? what happened? So in the end, I don't bother because I've asked channels before and they just say yes and that's it. But it'd be nice to know if they do if they do it, if it's a global, global, a nation, wrong teeth, I've got to change my teeth. If it's worldwide giveaway, it would be nice. Um, a lot of my channels I watch are uh, for America. There's different ones, there's different variety of ones. A lot, lot of, in the reborn community. Um, what else is going on? It's hot. I'm, what was it here today? 28 degrees Celsius. I'm not quite sure what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, it was warmer here than it was in Adelaide. Adelaide, I was told, was 42 degrees Celsius. So that is 14 degrees higher in Adelaide than it is in Coffs Harbour. Wow. Um, and I'm, Tasmania is about the same temperature here as it is what we are in Coffs is there. Um, I think it was 27. But I know, I know, I don't know which 
and I've on my I've got an app on my phone I'll put in certain cities and it tells me the time and the temperature there was one place where I think it was zero degrees at Celsius at no sorry that's Fahrenheit or my I think it's got Celsius and Fahrenheit and it's good because it also tells you the time in them places at the same time um so it's good if you actually have got friends family in another country and there is a, a time difference and you're confused you've got to work out what time it is in that person's country get this app and it will tell you you put you add the that sometimes it's hard to find find someone knocking next door it's hard to find of course cost harbor is not in the app um graft no one around here is in the app so it's hard to find if i can find what temperature for that day if i want to find the temperature i just go on to weatherzone.com.au and that tells me the temperature and what what it feels like and also for the next seven days what it's going to be like i've got to get this boy some clothes haven't i yeah i actually um sent the link when I did the box opening for Garfield I actually sent the link to the artist to Trina and it's the first time everyone's ever sent, shown her a box opening of something she sent to them and she really loved it you know it was she thanked me for a shout out for them because as I said Trina Trina from Trina Treasures she's on Facebook as Trina's Treasures. She lives in Queensland up on, I think, is it Sun? I think, it, I'm not quite sure if it's classified as the Sunshine Coast. I think it's further north of the Sunshine. I think it's further north of the Sun. Yeah, I think it's further north of the Sunshine Coast. She's, I, play, I think it's Bundaberg or around Bundaberg, that area, which is about five, no, it's more, maybe 10 hours from here or something. It's a long way. Um, but she's the one who created this little boy. Um, I don't think I showed you, he's just like the Reborn Dolls, he has got the silicon, not the, the vinyl limbs, vinyl limbs, and he's got little ears and his eyes, and he's got a cloth body. And of course he has got a tail, and I did that today, I was sick of his nothing hiding his tail, his nappy was down around there, and it wasn't sitting right, so... I got my scissors out and I put a hole in there. I didn't cut him, so he's got his tail sticking out. He's beautiful. And as I said, he's in, I got him a collar. A collar cost me $2 at the reject shop. And I had to make that small, put a hole in it because, of course, it was too big for him. So I'm deciding I've got to go onto eBay and find him some more clothes. I don't know what I'm doing about, about the bottom. I might just leave a nappy on him. I don't know. Because it's like a dog coat. And it only covers the top part. And his arm, got, his front legs goes in it. And his tummy a bit. I did find one that I really liked. But it only, I think it was only XS. And he needs three XS for it. So he's a tiny thing. And as I said, Jade Warner created this kit. She, she's a sculpt, sculptor. She also does silicons as well as vinyl. She has just created, she creates all these things. So um, if you do a search on Facebook for Jade Warner, she has, I think her page will be public because she's like that. And she has got a website. Um, I think it's a wee bit of, heavennursery.com.au I think that if you search for Jade Warner you Jade Warner Australia sculptor or something you'll probably find her website I'm pretty sure it's a wee bit of heavennursery.com.au that's a, it shows everything what she does she does dragons and it is amazing I didn't realize how amazing I know my other my one of my other babies Bridget she is a sculpt by Jade Warner and she was actually created by also created by by Trina 
who did Garfield. I did realise that too the other day when she actually had, she was showing a, a, a um, what's Bridget is a Melinda sculpt. And I said, oh, I've got one of those. She said, yeah, so she did it for me. Oh, I forgot I forgot who did it for her. So now I know. So I add that into my spreadsheet. It is hot here. Um, I haven't had tea. What I ha I said, I've been tired. I did have something about, what do I have? Cup of tea, you're out of the question. It is too hot for a cup of tea here at the moment. It is so hot. Um, have I only got any more gripes to say about? Mm. There's one thing I have the gripe about. It's not YouTube. It's actually about on Facebook. You know, you're looking for a reborn group, and especially you want one in your country. And you find, you look around, you, it doesn't say if it's the UK, or it doesn't say it's America, it doesn't say it's Australia. What you have to do, you have to click on an, a um, one of the admins and look at their profile, and when you and you got to find that tells you what country you're in. And most of the time, they're in America, which is a pain. Be nice to have one in Australia. Um, there's no other reborn mums. If there are any other reborn mums here in Coffs Harbour, they're in hiding. They're in the closet. I don't know why. I take mine out. I took Garfield out the other day, didn't I? I took him mainly out to look for clothes and try and get him to see his size, but there was none out there. I couldn't find anything. So we are going to have to have a look on eBay and really find one for you, which you have to come from China, which could get him by the end of January, between January and March. I mean, that is the pain. Um... But that's okay. At least you've got some clothes. I don't know where. I wonder if how will go with some of the clothes I get from. No, I, I think the, some of the clothes I've got here have my babies for um, baby prem. But no, they'd be too good. They're a bit pricey just for the kitty cat. But I might have a look and see what I've got. I know I've got to get some more clothes for my triplets. Um, but now when Australians buy overseas, we actually they actually add GST on it. But if I could buy, get the things in Australia for a good price, but then again, because they're prim, they're, they are premier clothes, I can't get premier clothes in Australia. You can, but um, it can be pricey. Well, I get baby prem free delivery. I know I've got some in my cart at the moment. I've just got to check see if I've actually got the right size. I don't want to get the wrong size for them. I've got to look on the ones they've got on now so that they are the right size and not too big or not too small. But that's okay. Um, did I tell you it's hot? I've got the fan going. I've got the two back doors closed. Um, I'm, I'm still in my nighty. I didn't go out, so I stay in my nighty. But, and I wait till later on to have my shower when the sun's gone down for a while and then I'll have a shower. Even after that, it is still hot. I don't remember being hot, this hot last year. I don't remember because I was here last year. But I'm just glad I do live here because I'm not far from the plaza, not far to walk. Um, yeah, As I said, I've, got, I've got to lose some weight. I'm, in 37 days, I take off from, to at, go to Tasmania, which will be five weeks from Saturday, and I will do some video. If you're new to my channel, go back to October, look for October for Adelaide, and I have got there's one video there, I think I've, I think it's my best video I, I really love, is when I was down um, in Adelaide, I went to a place called um, J um, Victor Harbour, then I seen a sign for Cape Jervis and I followed that. I didn't know where I was going. And when I got so far, I could see water. I thought, this is it. So I started recording from then. And it was just amazing. I mean, it was, people understand, they say, yeah, it was the bottom of Australia. If I kept, there was no water. Any further, if I got a boat and went further south, I would end up the South Pole. So when I go to Tasmania, I want to go to the bottom of Tasmania, which is would be the really bottom of Australia. It's lower than where Adelaide is. And any further in the ocean, you would head, head to um, South Pole. That is what I'm looking forward to. I know it's probably a bit cold, 
because um, there have been people I've known have been down there probably a month or so ago, they said it was cold. So I'll just pack up my jumpers. I'll probably take my winter nighty and summer nighty and my winter dressing gown and just in case it gets a bit nippy. And I'll take my babies. I will take um, woolen outfits. I've got some not now to get the woolen outfits in. Try those. I'll be glad when winter comes where they can wear them when we go out. Um, what else is going on? Nothing. I just thought when I was watch, watching the videos, I thought I'd come on. I know one day I would like to do a giveaway, but I don't want to give out my address is one thing. Um, I don't want people to come. I know there's probably no one here. But still, I don't want people to know where I live. Um, someone said you're not in that allowed to show people your, where outside your front door what it's like. So they could actually visual it, find out where it is. Yeah, okay, I don't know. But as I said, I would like to give away, but it's going to be hard. Because I looked at the, um, maybe when I get, get more up and get more videos, um, I may because it's $132 to have a post office box. That's Aussie dollars. In American dollars, it'd be a bit less compared to that. Um, I would like to do, I've thought about doing a giveaway, you know, just of something little. Um, and it would be, I think, I think most of my subscribers probably overseas. Um, and I know one of my videos had over 200 views. And I thought, wow, I think, I think it was one of my box openings. I think it was um, Bailey and Alice. I think it was their box opening. Bailey, Alex and Ariel. I'm pretty sure it was that video had over 200 views. I thought, wow, I've got, I've got about, I think, 72 subscribers. That is a lot. I know, you know, I thought, wow. And I know I was, when I was at volunteering yesterday, I was talking about saying I have a, I have a YouTube channel. I said, yeah. I said, really? I showcased my babies. She said, do you put your face on there? I said, yeah, I put my face on there. I know at first I was a bit iffy about putting my face on. I think because, look at it, I know I'm beautiful. <laughs> Now, sometimes I feel, I think, I think maybe because of my weight and how I look and I don't know, but I'm comfortable with doing this now, um, you know, it's when you, the more you do, the more comfortable you get in doing your videos. That's what it is. And it, I wasn't, as I said, wasn't planning to do a video as I, I watched Angela's box opening of my parcel. She finally got it uploaded. She did say she, had, she did say in, in message that it, was, it wasn't a good um, video because the kids were there, and I, I, I thought I loved the video. The yeah, I did, um, and everything. I think there was a couple of things that she sent me I didn't like. Um, I know there were some things that, even though I did eat them and I did try them, I realised they did affect me in that they made me tired. So I, with me sometimes with gluten, that's how it affects me. It makes me tired. I mean, I was, last night I went to bed and this morning I woke up and I was tired and I did get up, I didn't get back to bed. I got up and did things and I, I'm way, I'm not, I just feel a bit weary at the moment. I will go to bed late tonight, go to bed tonight. I have to eat tomorrow. I'll feel good when I get up. I might go, if I go shopping tomorrow, I might leave it till later, till about five o'clock where it's probably hopefully not so hot and not so busy. Um, it's after bowl and beautiful. But then I'll have an hour and a half to get back in time for neighbours. Yes. Got to watch neighbours. Um, what a, nothing else happening on. Um, this is my Garfield. I hope you've watched his. He is such a beautiful thing. Yeah, he's got a nappy. Um, Garfield. You can tell why I call him Garfield. And of course, he's a boy because ginger boys, ginger, ginger toms, ginger, these, they're all rare. They're always boy. You very rarely get 
a female ginger ginger book ginger tom ginger cat very rarely um there is the odd one here and there i hear about but no nah. there are the tabby ones the dark brownie tabby ones they are mostly female but you're a ginger you and you're a ginger boy and so i got him if you've seen that video you know why i got him he's not to replace my tigger but I love cats and I know I'll never get another cat because it wouldn't be Tigger. And if you've seen that video, so, Tigger does, talking about Tigger does that to me. I've thought about it and upset because of what I did do to him. And the reason why I had to surrender him and that I had to surrender him because I didn't think I would actually have to ever surrender him. I didn't think I'll get the stage where I'll actually hurt my Tigger. Um, even though I no longer have Tigger, he is still my Tigger. Um, I'm still known as Tigger's mum. I will always be Tigger's mum. Um, I know, um, as I said, I'm heading away in April. East over Easter and when I come back I'm going to go and grab some more food and pop it on down to Darius PCA. I might grab some other little things too, some toys or something for the cats that are there. They've got, all got to have a toy, haven't they? Just to say thank you for the girls at the Darius PCA. They do an amazing job and they made sure they found a good home for Tigger. Good, it's coming up. Nearly, nearly two years since I had to surrender him. I think it was late February when I had to surrender him. <sighs> I'm sorry. Talking about Tigger does this. <sighs> this is the only thing that gets, sets me off now. Because of what that bitch did. Um... Otherwise, I don't cry as much. There were times that I'd be up, ready to go to bed, and I would just start crying. I don't know why. I would go to bed. I would keep crying. I try to sleep. I couldn't sleep, and I would actually have to go onto onto my phone, onto YouTube, watch my videos, and you know do that. And sometimes I'm there. I remember once the other week I haven't done it for a while, but the other week it happened, and I was tired. Yeah, you know, my eyes were. They need, I needed sleep. I needed, but my eyes, I did not want to go to sleep. Though I was there with one eye closed and still watching the videos, I did not want to go to sleep. And I have no idea why that happened. Um, since seeing my psycho psychologist, um, it hasn't happened that bad. There are times that I've actually had a cry. I'll get up and have a cry, but no, it, it hasn't as bad as it was before. And I don't know if it's to do with her, the bitch, or to do with, um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's causing it. I didn't mention to the psychologist when I seen her the other week, but she didn't know. I'm actually waiting for, I sent her a text, I think it was just before Christmas, or just, I think it was, just before Christmas. Um... Let her know that I would like to see her again and to let me know when she can put me in. So, like, Monday's the only day because she's only in Coffside Monday, Tuesday. And 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, around the time is best for me. I don't get up that time. Yeah. So, all in all, I am doing good. Um, back at volunteering yesterday, had a great day. Um, notice I cut my hair again, my hair, time to cut the hair. I thought it was six weeks since I cut it, and I thought if I cut it, I'd probably cut all of the um, colour out of it. But there's still a bit of colour in it, so, of course, as I said, it's five weeks until I go to Tasmania. I said, I, so I thought, if I don't do it now, but I'm glad I did, because it's so hot. I like it nice and short. I love it short. Um, I've been doing my own hair for nearly 11 years. I did the world's greatest shave in 2000, 2010. No, it's nine years. Nearly nine years. What did I do 11 years from? 
I don't know, nearly nine years. 2010, they helped raise money for cancer, any cancer of the blood. And I had hair down to my shoulders. Um, and I got, got a shut, cut short. And it was, I loved it. I loved it short. So I said, that's it. So I went to Big W, got myself a good set of clippers. And Bob's your uncle. I do, I do it where I want to. And after I do it, I just pop in the shower and wash it off. And the hair's gone. So love it. It is great. Um, I envy women who have got long hair. I do envy women who have got long hair. But I'm not, I won't go back down there and get, because it's so good. It feels so good, you know. If ever, whenever I, when, when I find someone, she's got to have a short hood too. I tell you, it's got long, better long hair. Long hair takes a lot of looking after. And when I did have, I had, I've had long hair down to my shoulder blades. It was always up in a bum. And I was getting sick of that. And that's why I got it cut short. Um, anything else to talk about? Um, I'll just remind you that those who are ha watching and you have giveaways, could you please mention if it's actually global worldwide giveaway? Um, and if and in, when it comes in regard to postage, probably just put it in the description or something so that people will know. Um, and for any Aussies out there who are doing channels and you have giveaways, do the same so that people in other countries will know. Do I, they know ahead that they've got to pay for postage or if they are able to enter. I think when I do get into doing giveaways, I'm thinking about it, I might add a packet of gaieties. I know another channel, she, she actually adds a packet of Tim Tams, not me. Now, I will, when I went, I'm not quite sure when. I've got to work it out when. Um, and it will be reborn related. I'm not quite sure what will what it will be, um, but it will be reborn related. I think because this is a reborn channel, it will. I think reborn channels. It is when you do giveaways. Yes, it should be reborn related. My teeth. My, I think I might have the wrong mouth again because it's got mumbling. Um, what else is going on? Um, let me see. Let me see. I don't think there's anything else I want to talk to. The video is getting a bit long. I hope you're not bored. Uh, and I see, I've seen some videos that goes longer than mine, but that's okay. I'm still working on my, how, what I'm going to do with my banner. Doing, I might, as I've said in the last video, I think I might change the front slide and put the likes and the bell, little bell and the subscribe at the end. Um, I'm not in, but maybe the front's not big. Any comments about my first slide that comes up? If you want any comments about it, do you like it? Is it too much on it? Just let me know because sometimes deciding these, it's, um, it is a bit up. But the main thing is getting my banner right. I'm sick of the, what it's there. Um, I want to add, add those hearts back up into it, the colours of the coloured hearts on, which I've got on my um, first slide. I love doing things like that, you know. Um, I do. Getting on the computer, working out the sizing and doing it, it is, I really like it. I do. I might ch try and do a different frame around, in the thumbnail. I, re I didn't know what the thumbnail was. So I, you know, I love creating my own thumbnail. And I realise what they are because that's what you see when you see the video is the thumbnail. Um, yeah, Garfield. So Garfield will be in the thumbnail again. And he is a cutie. I've been had, nursing him all day. I think the other girls will get jealous. Other boys and girls will get jealous. But yeah, that's okay. Uh, my new baby's coming along soon. My Adam kit. Um, he is coming along really well. He's looking really amazing. And he. I won't say it's something. It's, she's she's doing something which I was nearly going to ask, but she asked me, "Did she want want me to have it done?" I said, "Yes, please." So she's doing that. So you, when he comes, I'll let you know what that is. So cause I think all oh, babies should have one, shouldn't they? Not pretty cats, not pretty cats. So I think I will say goodbye for now. It's getting long, so I'll probably 
do this and then have tea because it's probably about half past seven-ish, good day, eight, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, I don't know. I've got a clock on my fridge, but that's up there. So I will see you now. If you're on, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to my channel. And give this one video the thumbs up if you like to. But that's okay if you don't. Um, and also subscribe and then click the little bell to get notification of any new videos. Um, and I will see you in the next video. So everybody, have a good day, mate. Bye.